Hello, darlings. I'm in a very good mood. I got my Luna Love Good wig. I'm very excited. It came in today, and that's why I'm wearing it, because I felt like to. I said that way on purpose. But yeah, I'm very, very excited, and now I don't want to take it off. But I'll show you. And then, and then, and then, and then. What? But, um. Oh, I know I'm not quite as pale as I should be for Luna, but um, it's okay. It's actually my second choice of wig. Uh, the first one was out of stock, though, so we ordered this one. My, my darling, my darling Artie Kins did it for me, and I like it. <laughs> I'm really excited. Um, I'm a little bit off today. I went to the optometrist, and um, they dilated my eyes. And um, we had to walk, so to walk back, and it wasn't sunny, but when your eyes are dilated, like forcibly dilated, everything is too bright, like everything. Um, it wasn't even sunny, and I had to squint, and I had to wear sunglasses. They weren't real sunglasses, they were paper sunglasses. Like a boss. Eh, eh. Yeah. God, now I look like Lady Gaga. Gangster? Straight up gangster. Yeah, no. <laughs> but um, I had to walk into a whole bunch of stores wearing these and I felt absolutely ridiculous because they're made out of plastic and paper. But um, there's that. But um, yeah, today I went to the optometrist because my vashes, my vashes? God, I'm dyslexic. Uh, my 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 glasses vanished, like they just disappeared. And I thought that they were here, but they weren't. But I went to a friend's house, and I thought I had taken them, but they weren't in my bag, and I couldn't find them. And she still hasn't found them in her house, and they're not here. I know that for a fact. Cause this room isn't very big, and we've looked pretty much everywhere. So um, I have a new pair of glasses in, on the way. They're black, and they're all like awesome shaped. But um. I also went to a physical doctor, a physician, yesterday, and I was prescribed with sleeping pills, but they're actually antidepressants that they give to people with sleeping problems, which worries me because I actually, and I will admit this, I have, I have some mental, like, anxiety really bad. It's hard for me to go up to people I don't know. like. I can't really go anywhere on my own because sometimes I have to have people go and do things for me, like ask people questions or get someone's attention. It's really hard for me to do that. Um, my, my therapist told me it's possible I have social anxiety because I'm just not good in social situations. Um, when it comes to theater, it's different though because when you're when you're on stage, you're someone else. You're not you. You become a different person. And that different person doesn't have anxiety problems. <laughs> Plus, everything's kind of scripted, so I don't have to run the risk of being... of, 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 of talking very stupidly like, like I'm doing right now. <laughs> um, uh, but I also have... I have been on antidepressants before because I was going through a very hard time when I was living with my mother's because I have two gay moms and my mother's my mother mother her girlfriend um, was very very controlling and there was a time where I was living with them and it was almost in my honest opinion it was almost emotional neglect um, I was treated very badly, um, and physically I was fine, and my mom was nice, you know, but it's like she couldn't stand up for herself, and she wouldn't stand up for me because her girlfriend was, and still kind of is, her main source of self. I don't know. The relationship was almost symbiotic, but once I left, a lot of my problems went away. My sister said that it's a possibility that well, they were the reason I was so fucked up. But um, 
I react really badly to some antidepressants. I will, um, when I was 10, I was on something, yeah, it's 10 years ago. Um, I had a pretty hard childhood. My, um, I was kind of neglected. I would be locked into a room. I was either supposed to be locked in my room or I wouldn't be allowed in the house because my parents were doing drugs. Um, I didn't have a lot of friends. And when I was put into foster care, everything just kind of went downhill. But um, when I was 10, I was taking pills and I had a reaction where my entire neck froze up and I couldn't move. When I was 16, four years ago, I had a reaction where my entire tongue swelled up and I couldn't breathe. My throat swelled up as well. So I'm a little nervous about taking this medication for sleeping problems because a physician doesn't understand and they don't know about my issues. My EPS is what it's called when you have the side effects. And they don't know that I could react really badly to these physically. But I kind of forgot to tell them. <laughs> he wasn't really listening very much to me. But um, I also got migraine pills because I've been having really bad headaches. But I'm hoping that the sleeping medication will help right my bad sleeping habits. I've been pretty good so far, I guess. I don't know. Um. God, I lost my train of thought. Now I don't know what to talk about. I don't even know what I was, I barely even remember what I was talking about. Um. So, I've been playing this video game called Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, and it's actually based on a role-playing game, which I used to play, and I'm hoping to start up again. And it's kind of like D&D. And I play that. Yes, I'm a geek. Obviously, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> um, but it's basically a role-playing game where you're a vampire, and there's a whole bunch of different kinds, but my favorite is the Malkavians. And they're fun. Like, literally. Because each vampire has... Each vampire clan has a clan flaw. And the Malkavian clan flaw is insanity. Cursed blood. And and they're so much fun. And I miss playing. But, um... I doubt I look very much like Ivana. It'd be nice if I did. Sorry, kind of ADD. Um, I don't know if I look very good in this. <laughs> But I'm excited, and if this is here, then it might mean that the rest of my stuff is coming soon. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm keeping my eye out. But anyway, um, I don't know what to talk about now. I don't have much to talk about. So you know what? I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna let you guys go, because there's nothing of importance for me to say here. <laughs> so um. So I'm gonna let you guys go now, and I love you all, and I'm sorry that I'm so loopy today for some reason. I don't even really know why I am. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. I love you guys. Keep watching. <laughs>